everybody, this is Boris Schlossberg with Pepperstone. Welcome to our webinar number two of the MT4, MT5 series. Very happy to be with you. And the agenda for today's webinar is going to be very precise and very focused, very simple. We're going to take a look at how to work with indicators, scripts, and expert advisors. And then we'll take a look at strategy tester in MT4. Um, as always, I've shown this to you in webinar one. If you want to access all of the um, MT4 and MT5 softwares, please go to the secure client login, open account, or if you already have an account, simply download the software. This is where you would go to get all of your information. Now we're going to take a look at both platforms today, but the difference in webinar two is we're going to do this platform by platform. I'm just going to essentially work on MT4 first and MT5 second. It's going to be a lot easier to follow the full path of uh, all of these uh, all of these products uh, one at a time instead of doing it uh, back and forth. So we'll take a look at three key components of MetaTrader. First is indicators, which is, as the word implies, simply all sorts of indicators that you can apply on charts. Now, MetaTrader comes with a series of indicators. As a matter of fact, MetaTrader 4 has, I, I, I forget how many, MetaTrader 5 has more than 100 indicators that are prefabricated that come with the software. But there are also lots and lots of customized indicators that people have written. And I'm going to show you how to install and apply a customized indicator as well as a regular indicator into both MetaTrader 5 and MetaTrader 4. The second thing we're going to take a look at is MetaTrader scripts. Scripts are actually little programs, but they are throwaway programs that basically provide one single use function. That's what makes them a script. It's basically a single use function. This, for example, seems to be like a um, a script that allows you to lay down pending orders um, across the chart. I will share with you um, certain scripts for both MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 that we can use to create that one single line item function. And finally, we'll take a look at MetaTrader Expert Advisors. Expert Advisors are full functioning trading robots that could trade on a continuous basis or a single use basis. This, for example, is a uh, robot that we use in BK called Trend Catcher that um, trades continuously on a, on a daily chart uh, and uh, essentially you know, provides um, trading functionality without you having to do anything. Um, it enters trades, provides exits and stops, manages the trades and does all sorts of other things. That's what every single trading robot does. And we'll take a look at how to use uh, MetaTrader Expert Advisors. And finally, um, I'll take a look at MT4 Strategy Tester just to give you a small taste of what uh, that's like. Uh, strategy Tester is, is sort of outside the, the purview of this beginner course, but I just wanted to show you how you would test the strategy and run it um, you know, run it to get a good idea of how it's, it's functioning. As always, information provided here is produced by third parties. Does not reflect the opinion of Pepperstone. I ask you to read this disclaimer very carefully to understand whether um, leverage trading in Forex derivatives, precious metals, and CFDs, or other off-exchange products or margin carries a high level of risk to your capital. You do not own or have any rights to the underlying assets, and trading is not suitable for everyone it may result in losses greater than your deposits. So please feel free to read this and very much understand um, this disclaimer. Okay, so that's essentially what we're gonna do today. And we're gonna start first with some old business. I'm gonna um, just minimize this. We will go into my MetaTrader 4 uh, account. This is a fresh account uh, that I've opened up here. And if you guys remember, I said to you, we, when we did webinar one, we created profiles and templates. And I said to you, 
well, what happens if I change accounts? What happens if I change computers? Is all, is all that data lost? Could I recreate all of that data uh, with one single smooth snap? And the answer is actually yes, I can. So I'm going to show you just uh, how easy it is to go find and apply a profile into MetaTrader 4, and then I'll do it in MetaTrader 5, uh, from a prior configuration that you may have had. So I've already, uh, I'm going to go into File, Open Data Folder, as always. But I've already uh, created, and I'm going to go into my MT4 folder. Um, I'd already saved my profile to my desktop. It's it's called a crossbuster profile. It's another it's another uh, it's another um, EA that I run in BK. So I'm gonna just simply actually I'm gonna copy. It. Let's make it do, do it this way. Copy, and then I'm gonna go back into my MT4. And as you can see, here's my profiles folder, right? And I'm going to double click this and paste it. And now I have my cross buster profile, or it doesn't matter, it could be any kind of profile that you may have saved from a previous, previous configuration, uh, pasted into my profiles folder. One very important, very, very important thing to consider, because I'm sort of uh, assuming this, is if the profile you saved contains an expert advisor, you have to have that expert advisor, that expert advisor already installed in your brand new account. So I already have the Crossbuster in this MetaTrader uh, for instance two account. I put that in there already earlier. Um, if, for example, I, <clears throat> this particular profile relied on this expert advisor, and the expert advisor was not in my account then it would not work so just to let you guys know you have to have all the pieces in place um, in a new account in order, in order for it to be fully functioning so now we simply close this down now what's very important here is when it comes to profiles you can't just do a refresh what you have to do is you have to close the full um, instance and then reopen it so i'm going to double i'm going to double click mt4 reopen and now all I'm going to do is go into my file profiles you see my crossbuster profile located here I'm going to select it and instantaneously instantaneously now the only the only order of business that's left that's very important is I need to make sure that auto trading is clicked to green whenever you do apply a new profile auto trading automatically turns off so if you want to make sure that this thing is working and functioning, you have to turn it on trading to green. But other than that, what happened now is all of the charts, all of the specific currencies that I'm trading this particular uh, EA on, all of the configurations, it's on a daily chart, all of the indicators, everything applied in one single fell swoop off of a configuration that may have been on a completely different computer, completely different um, a uh, completely different place. So this is exactly how you would import and export a profile into MT4. Now, um, I said, I told you that we're going to go one by one, but in this particular case, before we actually get into indicators, scripts, and expert advisors, let's do the exact same thing with MetaTrader 5, just to see how that works there. It's a, it, the process is exactly the same, but the actual specific functionality is just a little bit different. So let me minimize MT4 and let me go into MT5. Now this is a fresh instance of MetaTrader 5. You know, we've talked about how it looks a little bit different, kind of cooler, cleaner, tighter. Um, but what we're interested in is how do we import a particular profile into MetaTrader 5? So the process is similar, but the location is just a little bit different. So we're going to go into Open Data Folder, 
And on my desktop, I have a MT5 uh, folder that contains all of the things that I need to do with you today. And in this particular case, I have the Boris profile file. I'm going to copy it, go back, go back. Um, and the difference in MetaTrader 5 is that you don't go into this profiles folder. You do not go into this profiles folder. You go into the MQL folder. Then you go into this profiles folder. And then you go into charts. So it's sort of a little bit buried. And that's why you really need to be very, very precise about where you're going to place it. So you go MQL profiles charts. And I'm going to place this in here, paste. Okay. Now, close this up. And same process. We have to close MT5. Now we're going to reopen it. So here's MetaTrader 5, fresh instance. And we're going to, we imported this profile into our MetaTrader 5. And now what we're going to do is going to go into profiles. And we have this Boris Profile 5. I'm going to choose it. And as you can see, the Boris Profile 5 comes in. And um, and remember, I, I, I don't know if you guys remember, but we made it kind of crazy. We had some, some dark charts. We had some white background charts. We had some different indicators. We had all sorts of stuff that we had different time frames. Remember, this was a 12-minute time frame to show you that you can do crazy time frames on um, MetaTrader 5. So a little little uh, arrows all of this all of this all of this was preserved in one single click so pretty cool right pretty pretty cool um we're not quite done with profiles we're going to revisit that all the way at the end of the uh, session but i just wanted to show this to you and um uh get you comfortable with the whole idea okay let's take a minute here to answer some questions Uh, Warwick is asking, can robots and expert advisors uh, be put on and run without stopping when I change charts? No. <laughs> the answer is, he says, that when I get going and if I change a chart, they stop. Yes. Um, they are working. You can't change a chart and then expect uh, the robot to work. It's going to it's going to stop. So, so the answer is no. Anytime you do any alteration to the you know to the chart um, the robot is going to stop which is why the whole idea of profiles which is a set hard core configuration that doesn't change is what you want to use on a continuous basis it's another reason why i was talking about in webinar one that when you move up the uh the ladder of experience in trading mt4 uh, you're going to go essentially to this idea of trading strategies. And when you trade strategies, which are set hardcore, like for example, here's a cross buster strategy that trades on this particular set of pairs with this particular configuration. What everybody does is they create a separate account and they apply the strategy to this one account and they don't change it. They just let it run. You do not change this. You don't touch it. Now, if you wanted to do something else in this particular account, you'd have to create a new chart because the moment I putz around with this chart, the configuration would, would change and uh, it would all stop working. So the answer is no, okay? All right, okay, great. So now let's go back to, um, oh, let's see if there's anything else. How do you restart MT4 without closing the whole program? You, uh, I will show this to you, but in the uh, in the case of <clears throat> applying profiles, you must close the program. There is no shortcut. Okay. All right. Let's go back to MT4. This is MT4. And let's proceed with our uh, 
lessons and learn a little bit about indicators, okay? So indicators are, of course, very simple uh, indicators. I mean, they're just indicators. <laughs> uh, like, for example, the relative strength, strength index, which I have over here. You can have all sorts of indicators on your chart. Um, and for argument's sake, let's, let's just change this profile to something else. Let's change it to Euro. And my Euro profile, and I'll delete this. Uh, um, I'll put our trading on. So this particular Euro profile that I have here actually has dollar yen on it. <laughs> it's, uh, I guess I saved it in a, uh, in a different format. By the way, here's a, here's a little trick. I may not have shown this to you, but this is a very useful trick for anybody who wants to um, uh, do this actually this seems to be a, a bad profile so let me just go to file new chart your dollar oh here it is yeah for some reason it was it wasn't working so here's a little trick dollar yen yeah this is a dollar yen tab what if i wanted to change the currency pair instead of trying to go back and find a new currency pair what if i wanted just to type in um your dollar really simple i just go into this little little corner over here little corner over here and i can literally change the currency pair by typing it in so i could do the same thing over here let's say i wanted to change this to pound dollar it's a cute little trick very useful if you want to use a shortcut in getting uh changes done to your chart so here i am your dollar i have rsi let's insert a prefabricated indicator something very simple like a moving average okay and we'll make it black in this case, and we'll make a 20 period moving average. Okay. And I'll say, okay. And here's a moving average that we've um, attached to the chart. What if we want to delete an indicator? All we have to do is just right click on this and delete the indicator. And the indicator is deleted. So let's keep this moving average, the 20 period moving average on here. And let's find out how we would install a customized indicator. Now, as it happens, I, of course, already have a customized indicator nicely for you. It's actually a very cool little indicator I'm gonna show it to you. So we're gonna to go to open data folder and in my desktop, in my MT4 goodies bag, I have this indicator called adaptive moving average. It's kind of very cool. I'll show you what it is. Let me copy it. We're gonna go back. And we're now in MT4. So this instruction is strictly for MT4. We're gonna, um, it's gonna be different for MT5. So in MT4, we're gonna go to MQL4, MQL, yeah, MQL, MQL4 uh, folder. We're gonna go into the indicators folder. And all we're gonna do is just simply say paste. Okay, now we're gonna close this up. Now, remember how with profiles, we have to open and close MetaTrader for the full instance? Well, in MT4, when it comes to applying an indicator or applying a script or applying an expert advisor, we don't have to do that. All we have to do is simply right click on the indicators folder and hit the word refresh. And once we refresh this, we're gonna look inside here and you're gonna see that this adaptive moving average indicator actually is, is right in here and it's fully functional. So let's just apply this to our chart. I'm gonna just double click this and it has uh, a bunch of inputs. Um, what this is, this is a very cool indicator. Let me, let me just apply it now and I'll explain to you exactly what it does. Um, and maybe what I will do here is I will, change this 20 moving average to let's say if uh let's make it 200 moving average just just to make it big okay so the adaptive moving average which is a cool little indicator i've actually really enjoyed playing around with it but what it does is it calculates the slope of the moving average 
And if you think about this, if you um, and it shows you that when when it, when um, the price is starting to fall, it colors the moving average red, and when the price is starting to rise, it colors the moving average green. And what what's very cool about that is you you know you know how even in a downtrend, there's lots of retraces, right? And sometimes you can't tell if something is a retrace or not um, very quickly. Well, what this tells you, if, there's two ways to look at this. You could simply say, okay, here's a chart of euro dollar. It's in a clear, clear downtrend, right? But in, as in every downtrend, there's always a retrace moment where it starts to go up. And let's say I only want to trade with trend. Well, one very, very simple way of trading with trend is to say, okay, my adaptive moving average is below my large 200 period moving average, so I'm in a downtrend, right? But I will only, only stay in the trade if the adaptive moving average is red. The moment it turns green, I'm going to uh, get out of the trade because I, you know, that means the downward price action has stopped. So on this particular candle, I would get out, this particular candle, I would get out, um, and I would only get back in once the red uh, indicator, once adaptive moving average redness came back in play. So this is a very, very cool way of essentially trading with trend. And remember, these are daily candles, so you have plenty of time to um, to enter these trades. Only trading with trend by trend right you have the big trend and then you want to make sure that you're on the right side of the short trend because you certainly don't want to be one of the things that people always like you know do which is a big mistake is they like to chase price to the downside and they'll sell it over here and this happens all the time and without this particular indicator i think it's um it's it's incredibly um it's incredibly difficult and this indicator kind of really makes it easy for you what happens is you'll sell the low and you really, you know, you just, at that point, you think, oh, it's all negative. Uh, even if it retraces a little bit, I still think it's going to go down further. And you really find yourself kind of hoping and praying that the price comes back down, which sometimes it does and sometimes it doesn't. But with this particular indicator, you have a very clean, clear, objective uh, indicator that says, hey, no, uh, you are now on the wrong side of the trade because now price is going up. You've sold the low. Maybe it will eventually reestablish this trend, but why, why um, torture yourself? And more importantly, why you know find yourself in a position like this where you, you you're hoping and praying that it that it continues to go down, and all it does is it continues to go up. Why not? Why not get out and then only reestablish your position once the indicator turns red, um, you know, to the downside. Um, so this is sort of very interesting to me. I think actually, yeah, this is this is a daily chart. You can see this really nicely on, a, on an hourly chart. You can trade this very, very nicely on an hourly chart. Um, so, you know, here's a good example. You bought Euro a couple of days ago at 112. Right over here, you had a big breakout. Um, what's the price here? Let's just go Control D. The close was 67, right? You bought this at 67. And the price essentially kind of trailed itself up, not much, but uh, trailed itself up. Um, but then, and this is the key thing, it started to fall off very suddenly. Had you just simply hoped and prayed that the uptrend stayed in place, you would have really gotten badly hurt. But if you got yourself out over here, um, you know, the worst thing that happened to you is you lost five pips. You came in at 67, you got out at 63, and you said, you know what, I'm not coming back in until the price shows me um, greenness. And it really doesn't show you know much greenness until uh, at all. And then eventually it actually shows um, uh, a decline. Now, the interesting thing here, by the way, is exact same mentality the other way. You sold this down, right? And now you're super bearish and you're saying to yourself, oh, uh, you know, it's gonna go down to zero. It's gonna go down to 110. And then all of a sudden you sell it over here at uh, 1231. And then by around um, 12, 10, you're seeing that there's no more downward price action. You see there's no more downward pressure. So the smart thing to do is to actually get out, take your profit. Because if you don't take your profit, that sell at around 12, 31 um, simply turns into a loss. Because now 
this gives you an early indication that the whole trend actually completely changed to the upside. You know, we've, we've, we've bottomed down. Um, I'm actually kind of interested. Let's take a look at where the yen is, because the yen, the yen has had some very strong downward movements, but I think at this point it seems to be, yeah, you see, it's the yen right now is telling you that it's pretty much done selling at this point. Now, it may resume, but why, why guess um, at trying to figure out when the yen is going to resume its downward trend? Why not say to yourself, well, I was short from over here yesterday, um, and now it's showing me that it's kind of done. I think I'm going to just cover my trade here and wait for the signal to resume. So that's the adaptive moving average. I just thought it was very, very cool uh, to show that to you. Um, these indicators are all, somebody's asking me if, if I'm selling these indicators. These indicators are all free, guys. Uh, these are just things that I just downloaded for free that I will be happy to, as I said to you, when we make the whole video and the Dropbox available to you, uh, you're free to download and use them. Um, this is not anything complex. Uh, okay? So it's my, it's my gift to you. Okay. Well, um, let's move on to the next point which is scripts. We're now, uh, remember, we're going to go through all of MetaTrader 4, and then we're going to go through MetaTrader 5. So the next order of business is scripts. Scripts are single-use programs. Now, let's go into my open data folder one more time, and then we're going to go to my desktop and into my MT4 goodies bag. And there's a script here. There's actually two scripts that I want to install. There is a buy at market and close all trades script. So I'm going to just simply copy them and then go back. And I think at this point you're starting to understand the process. Now, where do we install these scripts? Now, it's very, very important, by the way, very important that you understand that you need to put indicators into the indicator folder, scripts into a scripts folder and expert advisor to expert advisor folder. If you don't do that, they will not work. They have to go in their own tidy little place. Otherwise, they won't work. So we go into MQL4, and now we go into the scripts folder. And in the scripts folder, I'm going to paste this, paste these two scripts, close it up. And again, super, super cool in MT4, we simply go refresh. I'm right-clicking on scripts and just click refresh, okay? Now um, we have scripts. So a couple of scripts here. This is a script that um, that does a single function, which is to buy at market. All I have to do is click on the script, drag it over here, and boom! Did you see that? That was super fast. <laughs> um, and not only did it buy at market. But um, if I double click on this, let me, um, it actually um, had a stop loss and a take profit attached to it, okay? Um, if I open this up, I think I modified this. I, um, I, I, I modified this specifically. Let me see what, what the script is. Yeah, I think this, stop, this, this script has a 20, point a uh, 20 pip stop and a 10 point take profit um, written right into it written right into it um, so what happens is when um when i instantaneously when i instantaneously bought dollar yen um it instantaneously put a take a 10 point take profit and a 20 point stop loss on this thing right now I mean, let's do this in the pound just just for argument's sake let's do this with the pound too and now you see it bought pound as well, right? Okay, now suppose I don't like any of these trades. I want, I want to get out really, really quickly. Well, here's a script that does that. It says close all trades. All I got to do is just simply double click this script and boom, you see how all those, all those trades disappeared? I think this is kind of the magical part of MetaTrader that even those people who never ever program, reuse robots, 
or any kind of algorithmic trading, absolutely love and enjoy. It's this incredibly fast, very useful functionality that's available, even if you know nothing about programming, to anybody who simply uh, applies these particular things. Um, Gary is asking me, is there MT4, MT5 for dummies book? Do you know, great question. I don't know. And maybe I should write one. <laughs> Since I am a dummy and I definitely use MT4, MT5. Um, the programming language is um, MQL, which is the proprietary language of MetaTrader 4. If you go into the MetaTrader 4, MetaTrader 5 website, there's all sorts of resources for how you can use and program. If you're a programmer, it's, it's super easy to pick up um, and learn. But that's the programming language. I'm actually not a programmer. So my knowledge pretty much ends there. But yeah, this is scripts. Very, very cool and very, very useful. Right. Now, expert advisors can be incredibly complex. Like, for example, here's an expert advisor that I have working on this chart that is part of uh, part of something that I'm working for BK. And, you know, it has all sorts of functionality inside of it, all sorts of settings, all sorts of rules, which none of which I'm going to go with, uh, through with you here because it's, it's, it's a very advanced uh, part of it. Um, but Expert advisors can also be very, very simple. So I want to show you a simple, clean little expert advisor that we can install into MetaTrader 5. I'm going to go back into my open data folder. I'm going to go back to my desktop, go to MT4. And here's something that we developed called point and click expert advisor. Again, all of this is free to you guys. We'll, I'll provide it for you, no problem. And we go backwards, MQL4. Now this time, very important. This is an expert advisor, so it's very important that we put it into the experts folder. I'm gonna place this in here, paste. And again, very much important to hit refresh. How do you know you did it properly? Well, the expert advisor name will show up in the tree. That means it's working properly. I hit refresh, it got executed. So let's lay down this expert advisor. Let's, what we're gonna do is we're gonna get rid of my expert advisor crossbuster and lay down this one onto the chart. It's gonna say, do you want me to stop this other expert advisor and execute this one on the pound dollar chart? I'm gonna say yes. And um, this particular expert advisor, usually they always have little tabs the common tab uh, you can pretty much ignore. You want to always make sure that in the common tab, allow live trading is checked off. This allows you to make sure that the, the expert advisor is going to work in a live trading environment. But almost by default, they're always checked off. You just want to double check this. And then you have a whole bunch of inputs. In this particular case, it's a very, very simple, simple um, uh, input. So in this case, all it does is when you point and click on a currency pair, it will automatically create a take profit and a stop loss. So in this, uh, right now the default is, is 10 take profit, 30 stop loss. Let's make it 30, 30, just for argument's sake. We can change this to any, any value whatsoever. So I'm gonna say, okay. And very important, by the way, to make sure in MetaTrader 4 that you have something called a smiley face. You see this is a smiley face? If, for example, auto trading was turned off, this would turn into a frown. Frown, very bad, no execution. Smiley face, all good, it will execute. So in this case, I think I made it, what, 30, 30, 30, 30 stop, 30 target. So if I'm, if I'm going to, I don't know, remember I told you, I don't wanna do big size. So uh, if I wanna go buy pound dollar, right? I'm just gonna click on this. Oh, sorry, this is, this is a new account, so it's gonna ask me this. Uh, so let's just do this one more time. So look what happened. I bought pound dollar. And remember in the first webinar I showed you that when you buy something, when you click on something and you buy it, you have to manually attach a stop and a target. It's very tedious. And sometimes you forget. And then you're in big trouble because you forget to put a stop on your position. And, you know, 
it, uh, it runs away from you and so on and so forth. Well, the beautiful thing about this particular little expert advisor is that you can point and click your way to happiness and never ever forget your stop or your target. You can't, they're all preset and they're automatically, automatically uh, created. So let's just create another, let's go to new chart, Australian dollar. And we're gonna go to, again, point and click advisor, say yes. And we'll just leave the default settings, it really doesn't matter, we'll leave the default settings. And let's say I want to sell the Australian dollar. Sell the Australian dollar. I'm going to sell it by hitting the bid. So I've sold this, and instantaneously you see the take profit um, and uh, the stop loss are attached. In this case, the take profit is only 10 points away. So the moment I sold it, it got very close, and now um, it's telling me it's I'm within 10 points of my take profit. You know, if I, if I were to leave this alone, it would automatically execute and get itself done. So very very cool thing, right? Very very cool thing, and um let's do something else let's do something else that's kind of very cool let's make this chart um and since we're this is really kind of a day trading product let's put the chart on a one hour time frame there's an hour one hour time frame what happens if we take this particular chart and we have this indicator Um, and I'll get to questions in just one second. And we go into templates and we save the template as a default template. Say this is a default template, right? Now watch something very cool happen. Let's go open up another chart. New chart, dollar cat. Look what happens. Not only is the chart has a look and feel of what we want, not only does it have the indicators that we want, but it has the EA automatically attached to it. So I save this as a default, and already the trading EA is completely attached to this new chart. So if I wanna, if I wanna um, buy dollar CAD, I just bought dollar CAD, and all my stops and targets are automatically gonna be made there, right? Isn't that cool? Not only can you create a look and feel for a chart, but you can actually create a default chart with your trading EA attached to it. And then every time you create a new chart, every time you pop a new chart or you do something new, you'll have that functionality without you even thinking about it. Um, this EA only does market entry, market exit. It's just, it's just buy, sell. It's, it's, it's a very simple EA. Um, most people are you know, always doing buy, sell. There's more complicated advanced functions that, that will do pending orders. Okay, questions here. So let me just stop for a second. And my God, this is, a, this is a big question. Okay. Uh, Andrew, uh, let me see what you wrote here. Oh, so Andrew, so this is the old, you know, would you use MT4 versus MT5 question? The answer to that is very simple. I went through it in, in, in webinar one. MT5 is the future. It's really a great product. It's much faster, better, multi-threaded, 64-bit, blah, 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 blah. Um, the reason why MT4 is so entrenched and why so many people use it um, is because the library of trading assets from robots to indicators to scripts, there's literally I would not exaggerate if I said there's probably 2 million, 2 million trading assets floating on the internet that are written specifically for MT4. MT5 requires you to rewrite all that code. The code from MT4 is not compatible with MT5, and that's been the big stumbling block. So uh, it's slowly, 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 but surely getting rewritten into MT5 mode. The moment the majority of these assets become available at MT5, and already quite a, quite a lot of them are, um, everybody will be moving over to MT5. So that's the answer. Um, and we have a question on MT4, MT5 on Mac OS. Uh, I refer you to webinar one where I had a complete rant about the idea that 
You can use this on a Mac OS, but why would you want to? It's, it's incredibly painful. Uh, this is a Windows only platform. It's a native Windows application. Buy yourself a $200 Windows computer. I'm actually, again, I'm just gonna go off into my rant for, for a minute. Um, I am a huge Mac lover. I've used Mac for uh, 10 years. I hated Windows. Um, I finally gave in and you know, I bought this Lenovo ThinkPad for 250 bucks off Groupon and I'm loving it. I gotta tell you, Win Windows 10 is a great platform. Mac is really starting to suck and um, I'm still a big Mac head, but man, you know, I really miss Steve Jobs. Uh, I think Mac is, is, is going right back to its old days of, of taking everybody for granted. So anyways, that's my rant about Mac versus Windows. Um, the point being is, for MT4, MT5, you really want to use a Windows machine. Uh, somebody's asked me a market question. I'm not paying any attention to the market right now, so I really don't know. Okay, so I think that's it. Um, I think I've answered all, all the questions. Let's turn our attention. My God, we I, I can't believe how we're just uh, running out of time. Well, you guys are gonna have to stay with me a little bit longer here. I'm sorry. So let's close all these trades just just uh, for fun and profit. So we've closed all these trades. Let's go now to MT5 and show you how to use MT5. All the, all these functionalities on MT5. So this is MetaTrader 5, and we're going to start with indicators, then scripts, and then uh, and then EAs. The process is similar but not the same. And that's what I wanted to, to kind of show you. So here's, um, yeah, your, your dollar is really starting to die. I, I don't know, some, there must be some news on, news on the pair. Uh, we'll see, I'm not sure what, uh, what took the euro dollar right back down. Um, but it's good because we can, we can actually look at this stuff in, a, um, in an indicator for fashion. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna install that adaptive, um, moving average indicator into our MT5. How do we do that? So I'm gonna to go to open data folder, into my desktop, into my MT5 goodies bag, and here's my adaptive folder. I'm gonna say copy, back, back. Here's the important difference. In MetaTrader 5, the indicators are in a different place. We're gonna to go to MQL, and we're gonna go into indicators, and we can actually just simply go right above the examples and do a paste. And we'll paste that right in here, okay? The difference between MetaTrader 4 and MetaTrader 5 is I cannot use the refresh function. In MetaTrader 5, you always, always have to close and open the software in order for the new, new uh, piece to take. So I'm gonna go to MT5. <coughs> And now we're gonna look at indicators and see if I have my adaptive indicator in there. And I do, I do have my adaptive moving average indicator right then and there. Um, let me find a, I'd like a, yeah, here's a nice clean chart. Here's a Euro dollar four hour chart. Wow, I got really ugly here very quickly. And let's apply this adaptive moving indicator on the chart. And um, let's modify this a little bit. Sorry, this indicator. So moving average. Um, this is a 10 period. Let's make it into a 50 period just to give us a little bit more space here. Okay, so this is a 50 period moving average. Um, remember what I was saying to you how um, in the other example here, once it got to 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 um, uh, to green, you really don't you really don't want to be short anymore until you got a new signal. Well, now you're getting a new signal. <clears throat> And when this four hour candle closes, it's very likely, if it stays this way, it's gonna resume the downtrend. And now you probably wanna come back into this trade and it looks like they may, they may be willing to run the, uh, the 1200 lines. But the, you know, the strategies aside, the key point that I want to show you here is how easy it is to, to attach the indicator right onto the chart. And now we have the indicator um, right on here, okay? So the next order of business that I want to put in here is scripts. So we're going to file, open data folder in MT5. 
go to our desktop, MT5, and what we want to do is copy the close all script. Copy. And go to File, Open Data Folder, MQ05, Scripts. And here again, we just want to put it underneath the Scripts um, folder and we'll say Paste. And here again, I need to close and open the software. Restart. There's no reset button here. There's no refresh button here. Okay. So we'll um, we'll leave the scripts alone for just one second because we're going to go to the next next order of business, which is expert advisors. File, open data folder. I'm going to go find the expert advisor, the point and click expert advisor. It's in my desktop MT5 goodies. Here's the MT5 version that we made. MQL for experts. And here you want to put it into your advisors, uh, not tab, but your advisors folder. And I'll say paste. These are advisors, by the way, that, that come for free with, with MT5. I actually just like to get rid of them all because I find them to be distracted, uh, distracting. I don't really need them. So I would just simply delete them. And now, Again, I got to um, cover and open up, close and open up. So now I'm going to reopen my MT5. Let's take a look at what we have here. Do we have scripts? Yes, we do. We have a close all script. Do we have expert advisors in my advisors folder? Yes, we do. We have the point and click expert advisor. Okay. Let's make the uh, Euro pop back up a little bit. Um, let's attach this point and click expert advisor to my uh, tab. Um, it has 30, 30, 30 stops, 30 targets. So I'll say, okay, um, we've attached it, but here's the thing. You notice by the way, that my auto trading was turned off and the expert advisor is red. Red is no good. We want to see it green. So I'm going to turn this on to, to green. And now I have to reattach it. I have to reattach it because my auto trading was not on. So expert advisor. Um, is not working. So I'm going to double click this, say OK, and now everything is in a proper uh, working order. So before you attach an expert advisor, you want to make sure that auto trading is on. If you don't have it, the proper way to do it is to actually remove it and reattach it. Don't try, you can't force it, you can't force it back into a green mode until auto trading is on. OK, so now we got the, the, uh, the uh, expert advisor. Let's just say I'm staying with a green trend here. I'm going to ignore this right candle because the trend is still green. I'm going to buy this. Again, it's just uh, simply the first time it's asking me for it. Um, and it's putting an automatic 30 point stop, 30 point target on my, uh, on my thing. And you see it actually creates lines, take profits and uh, uh, size. I'm going to buy it. I'm going to buy it. And, and here's a cool thing. What if I want to close it all? I'm just simply going to double click this. And all I have to do in, in MT5 version close all is click this checkbox and say okay. And boom, you see, by the way, you see how fast that was? That was super fast. And MT5 is just incredibly fast in closing and, and, and opening um, trades, right? So now what I was going to say is let's do this trick, what we did before. What if we change this template to default and basically made it our default trading template? Um, and by the way, the cool thing is this default trading template, let's make it into a um, chart. I, I want to just go to time frames. Time frame is I want this one hour. So here's a one hour time frame. Um, let's say I want this to be kind of more like my day trading layout with the adaptive moving average, with a 50 moving average above it to give me a sense of where the trend is and um, with the point and click all set up, right? So what if I wanted to just simply save this as a template? I go into templates, save, and I want to call this default. Save. Now it's my default template. 
Now, let's go and open up a new chart. File a new chart, Aussie dollar. Here's the Aussie dollar chart. Look, the Aussie dollar chart has all the look and feel and all the functionality that I need in order to be able to trade. And now let's say it's turned red. I think Aussie dollar is topped out after a really good, strong labor numbers uh, today. Um, and I want to sell it. And now I'm short. Um, and until and unless my one hour adaptive turns green, I'm going to stay short this particular structure, but I already have a stop loss and a take profit just in case um, it gets really too crazy for me. Um, and that's it. That's like that's the the beauty of of kind of combining all of this stuff into a useful functional layout for what you want to do. Okay, so now let's take me take some questions before we run out of time. Okay. There's a lot of questions, so let me just start from the top. I'll be right there. Just one sec. Let me see. Okay, Hussein, I don't know what your question is. So um, if you have an EA working, okay, N N Norris is asking me, if you have an EA working and you turn off the computer, close MT4, then you open it up again, a day or two later, will the EA continue where it left off or will it restart? Um, it will restart. Um, it doesn't, like every piece of software, it doesn't have a state. It does. It only knows on, off, when you turn it on, turn it off. Um, Hussein, I don't know your question, I'm sorry. You may wanna just uh, repost it because I don't see your question anywhere here. It got lost somewhere in, in the uh, uh, in lessons. Um, Another question, how do we install these into our devices and would you advise me as an inexperienced trader to start with MT4 and then later to advance to MT5? Um, I think the that's a very difficult question. Um, as I said, if you're new, it's probably useful to start with MT5 because MT5 is, is the future. Um, and I think the, the choice doesn't have to be one or the other. You can use both. Um, as I said, MT4 has a vast library of assets. Um, MT5's assets are not as, as deep right now, but its functionality is much better. So um, depending on what you want to do, if you if you are if you are doing the kind of point and click trading that I just showed you, if you you know all you want to do is scalp all day long position trade stuff like that, I think MT5 is a much better platform. It's faster, it's cleaner, um, it's more efficient. If you have a certain set of very advanced strategies that have only been written for MT4, then you want to use MT4. So the answer is to that. Uh, somebody's asked me if there's a help desk uh, to open an account and help me organize the platform. Uh, there's definitely a help desk with Pepperstone. Feel free to contact them online and they will walk you through whatever questions you may have. Somebody's asking me about the shift um, of the platform, the platform shift. Um, so this is the shift of the platform. This will, uh, this this button over here will, if you unclick this, if you unclick this, it will not go to the, you know, it will not uh, go to the last candle. And if you move this backwards, I think it goes, maybe it's uh, this way. But these are the two shift buttons that move the, uh, uh, the chart back and forth on your, uh, on your screen. Where can we get these scripts and advisors? Um, this particular stuff that I showed you today, all of that will be available in a Dropbox folder within a couple of days. And we will, uh, after the webinar, we'll email you, um, the, the video on demand information, but all of this is going to be obviously recorded and uh, put up on the web along with the tools that I showed you. So you'll be able to download and fool around and play with them. That's this way. Uh, Hussein is asking, and now I see your question, is there a way to import charts from laptop MT4 to mobile app MT4? No. That's the answer.
okay, there are sort of trader specific questions which I will ignore because I'm not, this is not a webinar on trading. Um, okay, that's it. Um, somebody's asking me where's the link to the first webinar. There's no link just yet. As I said, it'll take a couple of days for us to fully clean up the video, caption it, put everything together into one little place, and then we will um, be able to send you the uh, stuff. This webinar is not a weekly. This webinar is a one-time only show. Um, the last thing that I want to tell everybody in this webinar is that uh, this is the beginning of something very, very useful to everybody that we're going to be doing um, in the middle of August. Watch for the announcement. We're going to have a massive weekend, all weekend long, MetaTrader Trader Fest number two. We had Trader Fest number one about six months ago. It was incredibly, incredibly popular. We had more than 3,000 people attend all across the world, and I think we're going to probably have 5,000 people attend this one. Lots of very important, very interesting traders will be with me discussing strategies, trading, psychology, um, rules based ideas. So watch for that coming to you. Um, everybody who is registered for this particular webinar will have the chance to simply register for the other one. So um, don't worry, I will make sure that everybody here is going to be able to get the information. But that's going to be August 10 and August 11. I just wanted to tease that to you. Nobody knows us yet uh, because we haven't uh, fully started marketing, but it's coming. It's coming. Um, where do you get reliable historical data for strategy tester? Um, uh you have to buy it i think i mean i doubt i'm happy to, you can download it from from um from uh, let me show you this is sort of like the last thing i want to show you how do you i'm going to go to mt4 uh metatrader 4 open this up and show you how you would download data from metaquotes itself metaquotes is the company that makes MetaTrader. You would go into Tools, History Center, and you would pick whatever pair that you, that you wanted to download, let's say Euro Pound. Um, you'd click on the one minute, you'd hit download. I don't want to do this right now. And it will give you a, um, a prompt, and it will take about three or four minutes, and it will download about 10 years worth of data uh, from the MetaQuotes server. And that's pretty good. You know, it's 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 fine. It, uh, I think the the issue with back testing data only becomes a real issue if you're testing something on a smaller than a four hour time frame. If you're testing something on a daily chart, the tick data is universally good. And I, you know, generally all my strategies are longer term strategies, so I don't have that. If you're testing something intraday, the answer to that is that there's almost no, no perfect solution for you because all intraday data is incredibly noisy, incredibly inaccurate, changes from broker to broker, and whatever data sets you have really can't be trusted. So the simple solution to that is if you want to run strategies, run them on a longer term time frame. Um, that will make sure that you're going to have a very good back test to, to a real market condition. Okay, my friends, I have killed this hour. I really thought I was going to just try to keep it tight. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. As I said, everything here is going to be um, archived and recorded. I will send everything out to you in a couple of days. Thank you so much. Uh, everybody have a wonderful time. And I will see you at Trader Fest too.